From home electrical systems to advanced industrial circuits, circuit breakers protect power systems from electrical power overloads, ground faults, arc faults, and other scenarios where electricity could pose a safety risk to people and property. What types of circuit breakers exist and why? Let's take a quick look. The most common type of circuit breaker consists of an electromagnet and a movable armature with an electrical contactor at the end. The arm is connected to a spring or other actuator. The arm contactor makes contact with a stationary contactor inside the breaker, completing the circuit and allowing electricity to flow. When a problem occurs, the actuator forces the contactors apart, stopping the flow of electricity. Let's review the types of circuit breakers. MCBs are commonly used in low voltage applications such as 24 volt DC or 125 volt AC circuits. MCCBs are the most common type of circuit breaker. They have a higher current carrying capacity than miniature breakers. ICCBs are similar to molded case circuit breakers, but unlike MCCBs, insulated case breakers often use an electronic circuit to monitor electrical current. ACBs are the first breakers on our list to move exclusively beyond low voltage to medium voltage power distribution. A VCB has a vacuum interrupter, sometimes called a vacuum bottle, and a spring-loaded moving contact. Gas circuit breakers typically use a dielectric insulating gas, such as sulfur hexafluoride, to help cool down and quickly extinguish an arc. A circuit breaker has multiple connection types. Plug-in circuit breakers connect to the bus bar using plugs on either side of the breaker. Bolt-on breakers connect to the bus bar using threaded studs. Feed-through circuit breakers have lugs on both sides that allow cables to be connected to the breaker. Next, let's review poles. The number of poles determines how many completely separate circuits can be simultaneously protected by a circuit breaker. Typically used in fans, lighting equipment, and single-phase applications, this is the most common configuration found in households. Used when connecting to multiple phases of a single or three-phase circuit, this configuration is commonly used in homes for 240-volt circuits such as dryers and air conditioners. Used in three-phase applications, this is commonly used to feed three-phase subpanels or three-phase rated equipment such as large motors. Used in three-phase systems with an extra fourth pole to protect the neutral circuit within the system. This is commonly used in data centers and scenarios requiring a high degree of coordination or protection of sensitive equipment. Let's define some important terms related to circuit breakers. Voltage is electricity at rest and is measured in volts, while current is an electrical charge in motion over time and is measured in amps. The difference between the high point and low point in an electrical field defines the potential or voltage present. In alternating current systems, the voltage changes from negative to positive and back to negative in a continuous wave. Direct current systems maintain a consistent voltage, either positive or negative. Amperes are the units used to measure current or an electrical charge in motion. When describing voltage, current, and resistance, a common analogy is a water tank. In this analogy, charge is represented by the water amount, voltage is represented by the water pressure, and current is represented by the water flow. Ampere interrupting capacity is the maximum current that a circuit breaker has been designed to interrupt, protecting downstream equipment and people. AIC is measured in amps at a particular voltage. Various circuit breaker accessories come into play to enable features such as remote indication and automatic operation. A few examples. The auxiliary switch indicates the breaker's present condition, open or closed. A bell alarm provides remote indication that a circuit breaker has tripped due to an electrical fault. A motor electric operator helps compress a spring so it can open. A shunt trip remotely trips a breaker when voltage is applied.